Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 141. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of this episode, so if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who are interested, I do have all my reads here with no censorship, no blurs, especially the cat logo blurs. If that's something up your alley and you guys are interested, they're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. I look so blonde here. Holy moly. I try to tone down my hair, but I guess it faded back to blonde. All right. This episode contains language that is derogatory to those without parents and may be upsetting for some readers. You guys been warned. Her Majesty sent you to be my maid? Yes, Miss Evelyn. But his majesty has already assigned one to me. Perhaps there was a misunderstanding. No, that isn't the case. Her majesty stated that even though things got off to a rocky start, she's hoping to be on better terms with you because you'll be seeing each other regularly. She told me to attend to you so that your stay in the palace is comfortable. How suspicious. That woman persuaded the emperor to drive away Empress Navier and took her place. She must have an ulterior motive, but I'm merely a scholar's assistant. If I reject this so-called act of kindness, it may cause more issues. Hmm, very well. Help me get ready to go to the laboratory. Yes, miss. Uh? That's a pretty necklace. Was it a gift? T the Academy gave it to me. That's all you need to know. I don't believe that for a second. They wouldn't give such an expensive piece of jewelry to a student. But there's a girl staying in the South Palace called Evely. Take, take note of what she owns. And if you find anything that looks particularly valuable, I want you to steal it or destroy it. <laughs> the Remarried Empress, episode 141. Oh, Rashta. A few days later at the Crystal House. I didn't think the rumors were true. She really did just invite the men. I don't know what she's thinking. Oh my, everyone's already here. It's not every day that I host a tea party. <gasps> Whoa. So I want everyone to enjoy themselves. <laughs> wow, your beauty is as captivating as ever, your majesty. Your majesty has afforded me yet another delightful afternoon in this place. I was itching to get out of the house anyway because of the pleasant weather. The tea is fragrant and the food is delicious. <laughs> While low-born men admire elegant noble women, noble men prefer bold women. I have men all figured out. <laughs> Viscount and Viscountess Ishka? Why go out of the way to bestow a token title to an unremarkable noble family that hit rock bottom? They're not even from our empire. <laughs> but they're still Her Majesty's parents. That's even worse. Oh, that means her child would be descended from fallen nobles. <laughs> oh, he is bold. Why do you even host such an event in the first place? Are you saying this is all my fault? The nobles have always had it in for me. But why is it that your majesty blames me every single time without fail? Marquis Falhan is one of Navier's people. You shouldn't let his words get under your skin. <laughs> but... He un also insulted your our child! Enough! In any event, make sure to stay in line. The circumstances aren't ideal at the moment. Listen to Baron Lante when he gives you advice. <gasps> it is especially important that you keep Duke Ergi at arm's length. There are rumors that he has 
colluded with pirates. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! This is all because of that girl. People have started to belittle me even more after His Majesty brought that girl into the South Palace. But that doesn't matter. The West Palace is my domain. <sighs> I need to make sure she knows who's in charge. Rashta, you're listening to me. Pardon? I was talking about tracking down your sister. Oh, <laughs> it's very presumptuous of them to refer to her as my sister. How am I supposed to find their daughter when they couldn't even succeed? They're kind and considerate, but they annoy me at times like these. Don't worry, I'm looking for her too, so I'm sure we'll find her soon. Okay. Is there anything else you need? Uh-oh. Huh? Ugh. Good. This saves me the trouble of having to go see her. <laughs> You're as rude as ever. The look on your face reeks of arrogance. Are you dying to know what the inside of the Imperial prison looks like? <laughs> His Majesty won't let us lie if you imprison me. Don't be so mean. We'll be like sisters soon. Sister? What? Oh. How dare you insult her, her majesty in that manner? Twa- Whoa. Oh. Do they not teach you basic manner in the academy? You should be thankful that a common orphan like you can even reside in the palace. This is just a kind of behavior I'd expect from a child with no parents. I'm sick of the hearing them talk about my sister. <laughs> They're supportive when it counts. Don't waste your breath on someone like that. Let's go. Da -dum. Okay, so what we do know is that Evely doesn't have any powers. She kind of lost it, and we don't know why. But what if the drive of her hatred kind of summoned up her mana and her ability to kind of cast something pretty strong against Rashta? I don't know. But for the fact that, you know, they did that, yeah, okay, I get it. They're trying to be protective of, you know, Rashta, but now... She has more, Evelyn has more reasons to go against them and harm, like, you know, I don't know if they will harm them, but uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. That was insane. Okay, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!